happen so yeah i'm recording this video on 26th jan so yeah happy republic day to everyone hope you are doing good in your life okay let's begin with our video so today in this video we will learn about or we will start about start with the gateways okay in data workflows we have a gateways right so we'll start with uh, branch split branch merge cool so let me just quickly save it with the name as branch split and merge okay so this is the name i'm giving uh, as i'm going to demonstrate this components okay so let me use this branch split first so what we do here is like if you see here one is the input node right so let me tell you something about this input nodes and argument nodes right so whenever the component is used so if you see this input component okay for example so here we were only having the output node right we were not having something on the left we were not having anything on the top as well right and there were a lot of things so here if you see we were not having anything on the right of it and also on the top so these are like different nodes of any component but in this branch split you can see there are like node on the left one is on the top and two at the right side right so what is this right so this is called as input node if you just uh, connect anything so if you want to pass any input to this branch split so we need to connect is connect this uh, node uh, connect that input node to here at this point so if we want to pass any argument right so basically two things we can pass one is from this side and other is from top side so this is called as argument node right and this is the output node so here there are two output nodes so let's begin with that so what i'm what is this branch split it can uh, it will help us to split the path okay and as we are dealing with gateways so this is something it will like create different gates right or different gateways so these are two gateways you can think of one is on the top gate and this is the bottom gate right so when we execute this we would be either going from the top gate or from the bottom gate depending on some condition so here if you click on this branch split here this window comes so if you see here they have a condition here right so based on this condition whether this condition is true or false it would be decided that the path would go from the top node or from the bottom node so let me uh, show you this okay so let me save this and we'll quickly just design some things around this to demonstrate that so let me put this as uh, maybe i will put it as what variable should i put okay let's put it as uh, location okay sorry i just saved that without adding the label okay so now let's put some default location here maybe i will write uh, pune okay just for the sake of this example i'm just creating this hidden variable or hidden element you can say and there i have given the default value so in the input i will like uh, connect this input to this branch split and here in the input we will decide or like we will select this location component okay so what happens is we can use this location variable at this condition right so we have connected this location input from on the left node right so if i want to read this thing in this condition so what is that how i need to read this is i can write it as a okay so whatever i am passing from the left node okay this we need to read or like if you want to uh, grab that value we need to type it as a okay so uncock learns or uncock understand this as this value this variable as the value which is passed from this node and whatever the value that we are connecting on the top node let's suppose this location variable is there and i am connected connecting this thing on the top node okay and if i want to read this value which is connected on the top node then i need to 
write this thing which is underscore a r g okay this should be case sensitive and this is case sensitive even though if you write a here which is for the left node that is also case sensitive and the one which we pass from the top one which is called argument so that is also case sensitive so be alert like if it is like uh, be just cautious about writing these things uh, okay so that's it so what we are going to do we are going to now create a text field okay so let me create a text field here i can also write uh, name as something text location okay and here i will write the label as location cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to validate this values whether whatever the saved value we are we have we were having okay so where is that saved value we have kept in a variable which is location variable and this is something we are going to write in the text field so here i'm going to write the value as what was that location text location right so this value so here i'm going to validate that whether this values are same or not right so how i going to do is if a equal to underscore arg sorry let me write it again okay so a equal to underscore arg so what it means is we are going to pass the value whatever we write on that in the text box let's suppose we write there pune okay and it will come here as a okay so this would be something uh, evaluated let me write it here just to explain you so this would be let me write in label so just to explain so this a would be evaluated as uh, pune and whatever this value right that we are passing from the top node that would be also evaluated as pune right as we are passing it and we have stored that in a variable so this two things are same right so these are exact same so it will return true right so this will return true then in that case if this condition whatever we write here is true then in that case the path that our workflow is going to take is the top path or this top path would be executed okay so let me write here some consoles and let me just add console here as well so we can see right what path is taken so let me right here as top path and here i will write bottom path cool so now uh, let me just delete this i have just written that for sake of explanation okay so now it is fine we are we have configured this let's try it out okay so let me put a button component over here let it be submit only and on the event i will write uh, the location as where is that data workflow okay this data workflow i will trigger cool so let's preview this okay let me inspect this so so let let's skip this as uh, let's enter some random value okay now what will happen if i click on submit so here if you see we have read this right so the value stored was pune and the value we passed was this one so this is not true right those are different values so th that uh, condition evaluated as false so that is why the bottom path is executed okay so if you see here this bottom path is executed which is this yeah this bottom path is executed and the value that have came from this top uh, bottom node is the value that we have passed from the input okay so that is what the value is there so if you can imagine such in such a way right the value is getting like is getting traveled or like transferred from this input node and here some evaluation would be done whether this is true or false and based on that this branch split will direct that value to either top node or bottom node or bottom path we can say right so that is what it happened now right so let's do it or let's write a correct name which was pune right so if i click on submit if you see like now the bottom path is blocked but the top path is pune right i mean the top path is executed so whatever blocked will 
get this thing underscore underscore blocked just to understand like it is blocked or not cool and now okay so that was about branch split nothing more than that and the other one was branch merge so this branch split and branch merge goes hand in hand so if you are using branch split then here we are splitting those two things right so if i want to combine these two into one single thing okay then i can use this branch merge so i can connect two nodes okay nothing is there only label is there uh, that's it right no condition nothing so that's it so here if i just add a console over here i can write here maybe merge okay so what it does is the branch split splits that thing into two different path and merge is like it combines those thing into one single path again right that's it you can imagine like this or this thing like a pipeline right where like two paths are distributed and again those are like merged into a single path that's it cool so let's write this or let's try it out so here if i like something this this if you see like again as a merge we got this value and thing fancy we are not doing any operation just merging those two things and that's it and if i write pune then again it will work as this and as the output of merge we will get that value which is like coming from that particular node cool so that was about branch split and branch merge uh, hope you have got this if any questions you can just put a comment on the video i will surely answer those and also uh, we are having a discord community where all the uncork developers are there so you can join that discord community i have i will put the link in the description so like a huge community will be there where if you are having any questions you can post your questions so other people would also get that question and you will get your resolution right with that so you can join that community and also if you want to connect with me you can connect or follow me on instagram which is beast that codes uh yeah that's it from the okay i want i forgot one thing please subscribe the channel and also like right so with that the channel will reach to a wider audience and we can upload good content like this if channel grows and also you will also get this kind of video suggestions right if you like this and subscribe to the channel cool thank you see you in the next video guys